Howdy folks and welcome to the wonderful shenanigans that is your iRacing clips yes you upload them and send them to me and then I look at them and go oh my goodness what happened there I want the good the bad and the ugly of everything that you see in iRacing I mean it, I suppose it could be other games technically but I don't know how that would work we're doing iRacing at the moment if we want other ones we'll do other ones but anyway yes this is your clips you send them to me I have a look at them and go oh my goodness we also have a weekly award that means absolutely nothing but it is the wooden spoon award so who's going to get that this week we had a good wooden spoon uh, award last Last week so let's see what happens with this week right then our first clip is from max so thank you very much max for sending that in let me leave the description a uh, guy gets a much better exit out of the corner because i'm avoiding spinning cars it's f4 so it's typical um we go side by side in the chicane at alton park and physics did the rest <laughs> okay that sounds good right okay i'm gonna mute it because sometimes the sound sounds a bit a little bit weird uh go right okay so they decided okay that's fine so that's our poor exit then that makes perfect sense and I'm guessing he's staying left at this point. So I'm guessing there's a guy on our right. There he is. Oh, dear. Uh, well, to be fair, well avoided. Well avoided on that one. And annoyingly, you've lost like three places because of it. Ah, so we're the dude behind. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We need to use special things for this. Uh, playback speed. We need to see this slowly to see what shenanigans happen. Let's go forward a little bit because... He does get a much better exit, granted. He does. And I want to see how much space he, this guy leaves. Because we were on the that, that they, the car on the left-hand side. And uh, we were close to the barrier, I think. So we left enough space. Y yeah, okay. Yeah. I think this guy's just turned in early, to be honest. Because um, he's turning in now, but you can't turn in yet. Because if you turn in yet, you're going to go a one-way street into that tyre wall which is not going to be good for your race. So you can't turn in yet. So this guy's just turned in possibly at his normal racing position. And this is where, like, this is where, like, that, that term, like, um, you know, like, oh, you're just a one lapper, you're a hot lapper, things like that. You're turning in at your normal point, but there's a car on your inside, so you can't. You have to turn in later. So I, I, it's an honest mistake, isn't it? And and it's affected him a lot more. He's done well to avoid that. Oh, he did hit that tire barrier. Oh, that's his race over then, isn't it? Let's be honest. That is his race. Definitely schnookered. Um... It's easily done. Nothing malicious in it, but... Oh, good view, this one. Oh, that guy, oh, there's a third car back in there as well. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, internet. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Sorted. Yeah, I think this will be the telling one. I think he just turns in a little bit. Yeah, you see, you can't turn in yet, but yeah, he's coming in to you, so... I mean, there is an argument, could you be more on the curb? But you're fully on the curb but anyway, so it's like you need to leave a bit more cars with. You know, the curbs are one of them things like, do you use them all or do you not use them all? So, yeah, it's it's well avoided him, but annoyingly, one, two, three places lost. And he's lost a lot more, but it's, it's F4 being F4 again. It's F4 being F4. So this is from Stu. Thank you very much, Stu. And it's more F4. At Zanvort this time. Oh, okay. Just rear end. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm guessing, Stu, you're the yellow. Oh, oh, it keeps going. <laughs> that was... Oh, he's coming out of the pits. Oh, my... He did... Oh, wow. Okay, right. Okay, right. We do have other clips of this, but I want to watch that again because that was shenanigans that was. So he punts that guy, spins, taps... I presume that's you, Stu, because you normally race a yellow car. Turns back, collects that car, which collects two other cars... Rolls it back into the pits. There's someone coming out of the pits. Then moves forward again and almost takes out the seven car. Oh, wow. That's that's an achievement, that is. Someone count up how many cars that affected. That was an achievement. Well done, that man. Right, so this is... Yeah, so he's in the pits and then pulls out. I mean, well avoided this dude to only get a 1x from that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you can't do them sort of things. So this is the white car. So I believe that's Stu. Oh, yeah, collected there. Spun that car, yes. Oh, it's just shenanigans, isn't it, from different... I mean, it's one of them things, like, I often say, like, you, you must hold your brakes. You've got to hold your brakes when you have a crash. But he's rolling backwards off the circuit, which in some respects is like, oh, okay, thank you, getting off the circuit. But what if someone's gone around the back of you? So I still maintain, you know, if that happens, hold your brakes. Hold your brakes. Always hold your brakes. And the last clip we got here is a wonderful cinematic TV one. Yep, so that's two cars. Let's count them. Three cars. Four cars, five cars. Oh, that's the yellow car from four. Six cars. So six cars, should we say? Six cars have had issues. 
I, again, it's not malicious. Obviously, it's not malicious, but yeah, pff, that's a bad day, isn't it? Let's be honest. That is a bad day, that one. That's possibly an award for Spoon of the uh, of the Week, to be honest, because that, that was quite a lot of shenanigans happening. Right, next one here is Seb, and this looks like quite a shenanigan um, happening because this is Top Split F4, which already surviving that one is an achievement. I don't know what lap this is. This is lap four, which is hilarious. Um... Start of the video, top tier defense by squeezing the guy, attempting an overtake, then swinging to get the best line, which is fine, but then turns in uh, as if the guy magically disappears. Okay, so we've got we got a defensive move, and then turning in as if someone's not even there. Fast forward a corner two, there's a gaggle of slow cars. Full pace ahead uh, is the only answer. Netco does get him, uh, but what? Uh, but my what beautiful carnage does this create? Well, it's, it's F4. All clips so far have been F4. <laughs> 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 right, let's crack on with it and let's see what we've got. I'm going to mute it because Seb is notorious for getting me demonetized. So, uh, uh, okay. Okay, matey voice. I mean, that, let's go back to that one because that, that's a bit of um. I joke around with it, but that's a bit of a Max Verstappen line, that is. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break late uh, and, and not hit the apex in the slightest just to punt you wide. It's like, right, okay. So, punt you wide. Matey boy from two corners earlier is this guy. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, so you get net coded. I, I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can on on YouTube. But this guy, matey boy, uh, he gets net coded into the wall. You just see the car bounce up. I'll try and zoom in, but pixels are a thing. He he bounces up, so he gets net coded into the wall. Comes back down, takes out a load of the, oh loads of them. Oh yeah, that car twenty one. Well done for getting through that, mate. Someone's gone into the pits. Oh, that's painful, that one. And then this one. Oh, oh yeah, that. Again? Why do, why do people try and go down the low, low, uh, low side on this? What is it? Turn one, two, three. Turn four? Is it turn four or turn five? I can never remember. The low side doesn't work. It flattens out. It's like, I, I don't. So all the smoke we're seeing is him blowing his engine. I mean, it still doesn't excuse the fact of going down low. Okay, so is this the... Yeah, this that was the leader. Right, okay. So he's blown his engine, the guy ahead, lost it, and then taken out the leader. Right, okay. That That's quite bad. And then he sits there. Okay, so this, this is the third part of the clip, which is sudden defense just by swerving into another. Okay, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a real D D-I-C-K move, isn't it? Who does that as part of a defense? That is sort of one of them things like, uh, I know you've got a better run, but I'm going to pretend to punt you uh, because I don't want you to overtake me because I think I'm faster. Well, at this moment in time, he's got a run. He's looking up the inside. He's entitled to do that. Yeah, you, you can't. That's a bit of a D.I.C.K. move in my opinion. Right, then this was from Storm. So thank you very much, Storm. Uh, two clips in the first one. I, I was trying to keep it safe. Well, you're in an F4 again, so you can't keep it safe. Uh, another cars go three wide into the chicane, taking me out. Second clip, I, I just can't tell you what happened. Okay, so there's two clips here, which is fine. I'm guessing we're on board with Storm. That's not too bad. Okay, that's fine. Got a bit of a run. Are we going to dive down the inside? No, we're being sent. Oh, okay, that guy. Oh, 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 that's harsh. That's harsh. Little touch of net code. That is harsh. But again, it's one of the things, why doesn't this driver, why doesn't this driver see that, he's got a Michael Schumacher helmet, uh, why doesn't this driver see that, oh, there's two cars going in front of me side by side, I better take a chill pill and slow down. Nope, not F4. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, is this the reverse? Yeah, yeah, let's just dive up the inside, he's already got, a, yeah. Uh, it's frustrating, people think they're, but, oh, okay. Where have you come from? So you've gone slow for some reason. You've collected him. Thank goodness for good grass. Oh, there's more shenanigans here. Oh, you poor dude. Right, okay. So, oh, okay, 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 okay. Right, so for whatever reason... Right, so you've come out of that turn four or turn five again, had issues with this dude, spun across the circuit, stopped, 
then got going again, and then almost hit the Ferrari, and then did hit that orange, hit two more cars. Oh, that's a bad day, that is. That is a bad day. That's a bad decision. Why do you stop and then keep going? That's what I find confusing on that one. Right then, we are in LMP3 at this point. Twin Ring Matigi here, and it's from Matt, so thank you very much, Matt. Do appreciate it. Notice a driver on the inside break later than I expected for the corner. Uh, decided to pull back for a uh, pull back a bit and switch back, anticipating that he would run wide uh, and then success. Oh, it's going to be a good overtake. Okay, let's go do this. All right, all right. So I'm guessing we're on. Okay, brakes late. Oh, he does brake a lot later, doesn't he? Beautiful control, runs wide, it's down at that awkward, really slowly slow, beautiful overtake, absolutely well uh, well executed there. Again, sensible heads on people, sensible heads. He's looking down the inside, he's got a, like literally maybe a front diffuser overlap, so he's about that much, it's ridiculous, it's not a lot. Then literally he's coming down here, he tries to dive, well, tries to dive in the inside, he doesn't make the apex, but because of the tighter line, he just pushes wide a little bit, and then that's an easy, easy re-overtake for you, just with that extra acceleration, just by getting on the throttle earlier. It, it, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's so good when it happens like that. So simple, you're, you're being attacked, and then you turn into the attacker on the next few corners, and you've pulled past him very, very easily. For these fast S's coming up here. Very, very nice move. All under control. I like to see it like that. Good job. Right, we're back in the F4 at wonderful Zanvor and this is Bjorn. So thank you very much indeed. This is last lap, so shenanigans are gonna happen. Uh he killed me and said I was wrong. So we're on board with with the, the driver that submitted it, so that's good. So let's have a nosy. Right, play, go, let's have a nosy. Oh, he's going to dive up the inside, isn't he? Yep. What an absolute... You can't do it on that corner, you... I don't know. Oh. Calm down. It's fine. It frustrates me so much. That corner does not... You can't... There's only, I think, one person that's made an overtake that I've actually seen in that in both sim racing and real world, and it's Fernando Alonso. So unless you're Fernando Alonso, you cannot go up the inside of turn four, right? It just doesn't work. You've taken way too much speed in there. You've expected this guy just to disappear. It's a complete moronic move. You've run out wide because you, you know, oh, I've got the inside lights. It's my corner. Bollocks, it is your corner. You haven't even made the overtake. It's such a stupid thing to do. He was leaving no space whatsoever. He wanted to get up the inside and let your spotter say car left and he expects to jump out. This is why I don't... This is what annoys me with iRacing. That some people... Well, well, racing online, I should say, not just iRacing in general. Some people think that they're better than they are and as soon as they're up the inside line, they seem to think that that's their corner now. It's like, you. Can't, where was he meant to go? In that situation... Where was he meant to go? This is in no way your fault. It's all on him. You have to, as Fernando Alonso has said, really, all the time you have to leave the space. You have to leave the cars with. And car seven has nowhere near expected you to be alongside. He's expected you to bail out and lift off. Go, oh, no, had the position. It's a complete stupid move. And I, you know, put you in a wall, spun him round. I'm guessing he kept going because you're ruined. Ooh, Windows 11. Uh, it's just, it's just it's the attitude of I want to get one more place but it's the last lap you know go for moves but you need to still finish I wish more people learnt the saying uh, to finish first first you have to finish you have to finish a race to get the position you mm, beep I, it really frustrates me moves like that because it's complete bone idleness incompetence about how to race in my opinion it's a good screenshot of you in the air though <laughs> Right then, we're in the LMP3. Thank you very much, Rod, for sending this one in. Gained four positions by starting at the back of the grid. First lap, this one. Lovely, let's have a nosy. Starting at the back of the grid, taking it nice and safe with Twin Ring, which is a... I did enjoy Twin Ring, to be honest. Again, starting at the back can be so, so good at times, particularly if people are just carnage. So we're coming down to the awkward turn three and turn four now. Turn three is deceptively slow, which I think uh, loses out a lot of people. Where is it going to... I'm waiting for the carnage. I'm waiting for the carnage. The anticipation is killing me. 
Oh, oh, I've just... Oh, dear. Right, okay, so there's there's two cars done. I didn't... Okay, you could just about see it here, over there. I'll try and make it bigger, obviously, but he loses the rear end coming through there. This is... I don't know if it's open. Um, I don't... Is this open or fixed race for the LMP3? Uh, it is the fixed, LMP3 fixed. So he's lost his rear end out the corner and collected the other guy which is disappointing for the other guy, but it's easy to do on that corner. Very, very easy to lose the rear end through there. So there's two places we've gained for absolute free, and they're both going to have damage, so they're going to be knackered. And then what happens? Oh, big lock up into the very next corner. Oh, look at him smoking the tyres. He did well to it. Did he catch this car or not? I mean, there's another two places. I, if you're not sure of a circuit, right, it just just literally start at the back and let people have carnage. Let people have carnage. It's it's bloody awesome at times. This dude, because of both codes, is starting at the back. So he... Oh, he's playing it nice and safe. I like it. Yeah, so there's M2 cars going slowly down the back. Oh, and then we could just come to this last corner. A bit of puff of smoke. One, two... Four overtakes made, and you're on your way. You see, literally, four cars overtaken by just literally staying on the tarmac. It, it's, again, this is going to be the motto for this video. To finish first, first you have to finish. Right then, we have uh, Anthony next. Thank you very much indeed for sending this in. Last lap, uh, Nords, MP3, catch the curb, which slows me down a little more than what uh, would to be expected. And the guy behind... Uh, who can see what's happening, interested in it. Okay, right, right, right. So we, we basically get punted up the rear end, don't we? So that is, uh, I don't know what corner it is because there's like 150 odd corners on the Nords, but that is, I believe, I believe that's coming out the first carousel. Then there's a left, isn't there? And then there's a right. I believe that's the right corner because this is when we start getting the twisty section. So we've clipped the curb. Oh, yeah, oh, we do get rear ended. Okay. Maybe I'm in the wrong part of the track. Oh, it is the lightest of touches. But again, look at the closing speed you've got there. If the guy's just had an issue, he, he, you know, it might be a bit cautious coming out of this corner. The closing speed's insane. And then he, he yeah. That is, that is, again, it's not malicious, but it's just like, use your brain. You've seen the guy had an issue. You, you know, he's assessing his car. He's going to, you know, be cautious, man. And at the end of the day, if it is if this is where I think it is on the circuit, there's a sucking great big straight coming up in like another twenty corners. You just slipstream past him again. Why do you need to risk contact with another car? It is where I think it is. Yeah, it's coming out of the carousel. Then we've got the left kink and the right kink. So this is really starting the, the twisty stuff of it now. Yeah, look at the closing speed. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. This car here, you should have slowed up. You, you can't... I mean, you can see he feels bad because he's literally like... He hasn't accelerated coming out of the corner. So he knows he's he's like, oh, I've just actually, you know, properly murdered someone. Proper sent him to Barry R, as Super GT would say. And he doesn't accelerate. So he, he he's obviously very sorry. It's an honest mistake. But yeah, you know, hindsight's a wonderful thing. But the, the closing speed you had here... We'll just watch it again. The closing speed... Even speed here... So you know you're okay on pace at this point. And then he touches the curb. And now it's like the closing speed. You've got... Take a chill pull. You don't know if he's got damage. You could have aero damage. You could be steering the wrong way. You know, be cautious. And then, and yeah. He, yeah. He, he knows he's done wrong because he was going to wait for you to overtake him. But obviously you're in the barrier and ruined. Disappointing that one. Could have been easily avoided. Right then, we have a few uh, TDI uh, safety barrier inspection crew. Um, so, <laughs> car goes wide, uh, car rejoins, uh, touches Seb, swearing off camera. <laughs> uh, but they also apologise and offer to give that place in Discord chat. Okay, okay. Uh, faith in iRacing restored. Okay, let's do this. Right, so we're in the LD shites. Okay, lock up. Easy to happen in that Mercedes corner, I think it's called. Oh, a little bit of a tap. Well held. 
that could have been so easy a spin. Very well held on that one. So we're on board. So he locks up, goes wide, cranks on the steering, but obviously it's too late. Comes back on circuit. Runs wide again, probably because the front tyres are now cooked, if I'm brutally honest with you. They're a bit spicy and just taps him annoyingly. It, it's an honest mistake. But yeah, let's have a look at the overhead. Good green car, by the way. I like it. Yeah, it just it's literally a minimal amount, isn't it? it, it the contact's there. He's just taking a narrow line. He's trying to defend the position, but it, it, it's an honest mistake. Um, but yeah, well held on that getting wiggling. I'm guessing that is the old uh, full throttle and brake trick like that to try and settle the car down. For some reason, that works in iRacing. But yeah, it's frustrating. Really frustrating, but again, nothing malicious, is it, at the end of the day? I think it's just not his mistake. And apparently it was a six-hour endurance race, so could be interesting. So this is from the same race, I believe, which is um, interesting. Nice to see he had a nice, safe race. LMPH overtaking LMP2, overtaking the GT3. LMP2 took the wide line, leaving the LMP2 uh, to go through. In the Okay, right, okay. Code Brown, apparently. Pixels. Can we have some... Um can we have some HD goodness, please? There we go. That's clearer. So this happens in, in all endurance race. So, yeah, you're going to go through the middle. And then LMP... Oh, okay, that... that. <sighs> that LMP2 was uh, was going to close the door. And then, and then there was a car there. Yeah, you can't. This is... Oh, you can't. Why... I'm just looking at the steering wheel at the bottom of the screen now. So he goes to the right. Uh, it, it, it's that. It's uh, yeah. It's a little movement. Like he doesn't actually there. It's a little movement, but it's a little bit scary. I'm guessing this guy doesn't know that there's an LMDH approaching him quite quickly because he's probably just concentrating on GT3. Um, again, this is the awkward thing with being the middle class. You've got a you've got to plan your overtakes for GT3s, but also be cautious about other cars overtaking you so the middle class can be actually quite difficult to race in if you're in the fastest class you just manage overtakes uh whereas if you're in the gt3 you just you just watch your mirror whereas in your middle class you've got to do both of that so uh, you know hats off to lmp2 drivers again it's a little bit annoying it, it's 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 not malicious obviously it's just him concentrating on the gt3 getting past it and then turning left and thinking oh there's still a car there he, he i'm guessing he didn't see you in his mirror or relative which again is frustrating because you need to keep an eye on that in mind Right then, same race again. What shenanigans are going to happen here? Oh, oh, that even scared me, and I wasn't even driving. He is completely invisible. What the fudge? At this point, right, there is no way of knowing that there's a GT3 there. Jeez, I mean, a different day, neck, eye racing net code would have completely pooped you. I'm surprised you did. You didn't need to change your seat on that one. Jeez, okay, I'm glad I'm glad. I'm, okay, right, he gets spun by the Audi. He does a wonderful pirouette. Oh, this is into the Mercedes corner, isn't it? Okay, waits for traffic. Come on, turn your TC off. Little tip for everyone. Find out where the traction control toggle on and off is and set that to a button. Some cars you can toggle it on and then toggle it back. Sorry, toggle it off and then toggle it back on. Other cars, when you press it, it will stay off for like 10 seconds or whatever. If your car has traction control, find that options in iRacing. It's, you have to be in sim options and then I think go to controls and then somewhere down in that list. But there'll be toggle TC. Press that button, it'll turn off the TC for forever, or it'll turn it off for like 10 seconds or whatever. You can do spin turns, and it's way, way easier. You know, pull in your clutch, or just literally nail it in first gear, and it should spin around. Most cars should spin around. They should have enough power. Um, but it's so much easier than, than sort of doing, doing this over the whole circuit. So top tip, go get your traction control button. So he rejoins. He's clearly got damage. He's going slow. <clears throat> he's going very slow 
No, he doesn't just stop here, does he? He does. He, do, he Okay, he just pulls pulls up to the stop. Okay. You've travelled a few hundred metres and then you've decided to stop on the turn in on one of the fastest corners on this circuit. I, I, I... If you've got steering damage, right... Which you clearly have, because you're going sideways and the car's doing it. You could have either parked it on the grass down the left-hand side, or there's a... Park it now. Just just park it now. You're off the road. <clears throat> I, do, I don't know the thought process of driving down here on the racing line. He might... I'm, I'm not saying he should be over here on the right... I mean, he should be over here on the right-hand side, but maybe he can't get over there because of steering issues. So, we'll give him the benefit of doubt that he can't get over here to the right-hand side, right? But... Why, why did you park it here? Why didn't you go 50 metres, 100 metres further down? Because there is a runoff going straight on down here as well. That, that's, that's a poor decision in my eyes. Right, same, same race again. He fully turned in on me. Oh. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Let's have a look at this from the GT3 view. Um, overhead view? Right, looking at the description, right? Seriously think the GT key could have probably avoided this. They did apologise, uh, but I may have drifted out. I, th I think... You're spot on. I think the GT3 could have done more to avoid it, but he's cutting back to get his straight line exit, and you've drifted off the curb a little bit, which is your probably normal racing line, which is fine. So this is where I think I'm going to pin it. I'm going to pin it on you a little bit, like 60% you, because you're the car doing the overtaking, and you've drifted away from the curb. He's drifted down and well, but if you stayed on the curb. You would have definitely avoided that. So that's where I'm going to say that it's your it's your responsibility to do that. Yes, the GT3 could have been a little bit wider. He is cutting back. If you look back here, how wide he is. Back here a little bit more. How wide he's on the entry. He's naturally going to cut back for a sort of a late apex, quote unquote. So this is why I think he's partly to blame a little bit because he could have stayed a little bit wider. So this is, this is the fun with multi-class, right? Because it's, it's like little, little niggles like that. He could have done something more. You could have done something more. You, I think you should have stayed a bit more on the curb because you're the faster class. You're going to accelerate past him anyway. And then you've got car 14, which is another Audi in front of you, which I think the next corner is sort of a left-right kink with the two right-handers for the last two corner at Hockenheim. So you're probably going to go down the inside of this GT3, the Audi. You're going to go inside of him for the first right-hander for the, well, the penultimate corner. So you're probably going to dive him up the inside. So you getting a slightly better exit isn't probably going to make a much difference of that because you're going to close the door anyway because you've got more power. So this is where I think it's one of them things like, you both could have done something differently to avoid this, yes, but I'm going to say you could have done something more because you're in the faster class. So you should have stayed a lot lower and a lot lower on this curve. Almost, actually, weirdly, following the that Audi line. Because he stays on the curve right right to here. So that that's probably the line you probably wouldn't have stayed on. Again, annoying. It's nice they apologised. I think it's just racing instant. I think it's just multi-class. You know, you move on. I don't think there would have been a lot of damage. You didn't hit the barrier, which is a good thing. So maybe you had a bit of back wing damage and things like that. But you both lived, hopefully, to fight another day. So, yeah, I think probably 55% on you, 45% on this this Ferrari. Right, so this is... Who said this one in? Matthew. Thank you very much, Matthew. Followed uh, Car followed by camera is a 5K driver. Punt of the GT3 broke his wheel and veered into me, th uh, veered into me throwing me out. Generally, uh, genuine enough a mistake but not even bothered to apologise. Went to finish P2, didn't qualify. Okay. Right, okay. So we're following a 5K driver who, who in that, in my opinion, should know better. I haven't seen this yet, but judging by that, he should know better. So the uh, the the, far, the black car, I'm guessing we're following. No, we're not. We're following the blue, the bliss blue car. Okay, that's brave. That was shenanigans. 
Ah, okay. Are you in the Lambo then? Oh, veered into me. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. So there was shenanigans at the hairpin for some reason. So you're the black car then, I'm guessing. He's punted that GT3 who then veered into you. Right, so you're the black car and we're watching this guy. <sighs> yeah, so... <laughs> IMSA top split, of course, you put on that. Yeah, it is. Doesn't say what lap it is. If I missed it, apologies. So he's done the move around the outside, which is fine. He's been brave there. He, uh, you know, it's aggressive driving, but it's fine. He then gets caught up here somehow. That's a good Hot Wheels livery. Look at that. Gets caught up here, so then you go side by side. You've got the run. You can't go anywhere because it's two GT3, so you've lifted off, which is fine. Then the GT3s are, all right, they're going to wait. So he's come across his line, which is fine. Again, GT3s are allowed to follow the racing line. It's the overtaking car that needs to do it safely. You could argue the GT3 should have left space on the inside, but the corner before, both of them are broke. So you could, in my opinion, the GT3 could have socially assumed they're going to wait until the next corner to do it, which, I, I you know, again, multi-class being multi-class, you need to be second fiddle of everyone. Annoyingly, that broke his rear tyre. You can just about see it on there, and this is what's put it into you. So, uh, I, again, I, I feel it's like oh, I'm 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 a faster class. I'm gonna come through here whether you like it or not. Because he's been cautious. This is the other thing. He's been cautious through this corner. He's been aggressive and then cautious through here to not get damaged, which is fine, and then potentially risked it here. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't sort of make sense. If you're going to be cautious, be cautious. I'm guessing this is a, this is a few laps in because we're overtaking cars again. Um, but the, the pack is close together. You know, there's three LMPs here. There's three GT3s here. The pack is close together. It's awkward to overtake in the, in the best of places. But, you know, why risk damage? Why risk damage to your car at Hockenheim that's got the massive straight coming out of turn three? It, it's... Ah, to finish first, first you have to finish. Uh, yes, I know the GT3 probably should have left a little bit more space just in case. But again, why would he? Because he hasn't got the car left symbol and his mirror has shown that the, the LMPs, all the three LMPs here, um, LMDHs, sorry, not LMPs, um, uh, GTPs are waiting. So you, you would assume that they're going to wait for this corner and do it on the next corner. But I'm amazed that broke his steering, though. A little light contact like that broke his steering. It's like, oh, come on, iRacing. Come on. Right then, so that is all the clips we got from that week. So thank you very much for sending them all in. It is, it is, it is glorious to see what everyone else sees. I really do like doing these videos, so keep on sending your clips in. There is a Discord link below uh, that you can join in, and then there's a separate chat where you can go in there with a few rules and a few sort of rules that you have to abide by. A few people have submitted YouTube links, but they're not unlisted. Uh, so I wasn't able to use them. I have watched them and some of them were quite good, but I, I, I don't want to use them on the basis of YouTube might flag it up as a copyright thing. And then I've got to wait 28 days and all that stuff. If it's unlisted, it doesn't get flagged up. So if any, if you do give me a YouTube link, if it can be unlisted, that would be ideal. If it is something else, have a word with me because then hopefully I can upload it earlier, get the flag and we can sort out the flag that you can release it. And uh, yeah, I just don't want to avoid anything like that really. Um, but you can upload a file as well. And you can upload multiple files, so you can upload the actual MP4 uh, video file if you wanted to as well. That's the other way to go through. Uh, one person did put on there something and uh, and didn't include a link or a or a file upload, so that was disappointing. I would love to have seen that one as well. So yeah, just make sure you give us a link or an upload file. Uh, or if it didn't work, put it up again. That's absolutely fine. I can delete them afterwards if they're duplicates. But yeah, I think this one is going to be our wooden spoon of the week. Um, like I say. <sighs> Rear-ended someone, which is fine. Well, it's not fine. It's terrible. But then, just the shenanigans that happens, the rear-ended one would have been an, you know, a normal situation. But then, what follows is just like it's a lot of things that that have gone wrong in that scenario. So, yeah, what I mean is, rear-ended someone is fine. It happens in a race sometimes. You'd misjudge a break in. It happens. It's annoying. But then he's collected another car. So that's two. Then he's collected that car three. That car four. That car five. Uh, and then that same car then and then come out here and gone six it's like six or seven cars that have been affected by what happened afterwards and i think that that really does deserve the wooden spoon because just don't hit cars at the rear end <laughs> again this video last week's video was be predictable i think it was or something like that and then this one is is you know to finish first first you have to finish that's the model of this video is is just be you know there's no if you have to go for an overtake and you think i might crash here don't go for the overtake. 
you, you might ruin your whole race. What's the point? And this is what frustrates me with some of the shorter races, that people have that attitude of, I'm going to do this, and we're going to crash, so you have to back out. It's like, that's not racing. That, that you know, go buy Wreckfest. That is literally what that game is for. Wreckfest is a game to go punting people in. I racing is meant to be racing, and that takes some skill because you have to account for the other car. And sometimes you come together, but you, you, you need to leave space for the other cars. You know, it's just like it's like this one. You know, rear-ending someone, you, you've you're you're coming there and you're coming you're braking and you're turning into him just break down the inside because if you've missed your braking zone you'd be up the inside of him and it, all right it's not really a move but it's one of them things where it's like well sort it out and then all of this happens because of that one silly mistake and i just like you know i'm not going to say it's bad racecraft but it's just not probably using your head we make mistakes granted but if you're in a braking zone don't sit right up the car's rear end you know, be off center. So if anything does happen, you've got clear road ahead of you to get out. Anyway, that's my rant over. Congratulations to whoever that driver was. He's won the wooden spoon for week two uh, of season one of 2024. So congratulations to him. He will be put into the draw for the end of the week, uh, end of the season, either to so we get a wooden spoon of the season. Uh, but yeah, that was good fun. I did enjoy that. Thank you very much for watching. If you did make it this far, I do appreciate your views on this one. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do that lovely YouTube stuff that YouTube loves us to do. And uh, yeah, get submitting your clips. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.